So we'll be pouring a silicone mold today. Um, got this kit off of Amazon. I believe it's called Let's Resin. Uh, it was inexpensive, very inexpensive. Uh, two parts, part A, part B, and you mix a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, I've never poured a mold before. Um, I've, I've certainly never used this kit, obviously, if I've never poured a mold, but uh, it, it looks pretty straightforward. Um, it says non-toxic, and we're just going to have to see if that holds true. <laughs> and they gave me, uh, I think it was like a 20% off coupon. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll at least buy one more kit. I'm almost positive of it just because I save a little bit of money if it works out to be, um, a good kit, uh, working time. It didn't really say, uh, but it did say that it takes 24 to 48 hours to cure, which is a pretty long time considering the cure times that I've seen on other, um, other folks videos where they made silicone molds but again it was inexpensive so maybe that's the trade-off so that's what uh, that's what we're gonna go with 24 to 48 hours um, mix time in the cup prior to pouring is five minutes and then you just kind of pour it so um, I'm gonna actually pour the mold here um, yeah, so let's see how it works. For the actual mold that I'll be pouring, it's going to be a 6.5 Creedmoor Bullet. I'm going to try and make a necklace for my son out of it. Um, we'll have to see how it turns out. The, the big thing that I'm really worried about is how am I going to keep the bullet upright as I pour. So this stuff is pretty thick. So I hope that it kind of creates like a suction around the bullet once I start to pour it in. As long as I can keep it upright um while the initial pour happens, I think once it starts to fill up around it, it will definitely uh, hold it up. So I'm gonna just try that out. I was gonna try and use some tape, maybe some glue, but um, I'm gonna go with just sitting it in the cup, mixing and pouring for now, and hopefully that works out. For the two-part mix, it says to mix it for five minutes. I mean, it's it's not too thick, so it's not not a terrible thing to do. But mixing by hand, that can get uh, that can get old. So you may want a paddle mixer. I've just been mixing it by hand, so and making sure to scoop vertically from the bottom up. Um. So there's bubbles, but they are coming to the top. So maybe that's what they mean by bubble free. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of like syrup. I would say the consistency of like uh, syrup. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll the dice. Just gonna stick the bullet there. Now, one thing I did see that makes a huge difference is pouring from a high point and a small stream and only in one area to push the air out. So that's what we're going to do. I really hope that I pour enough. It's going to be very close. Like super, super close. Mm. 
Mm. It's kind of what I was afraid of. Yeah, definitely need to pour just a little bit more. So we're going to do... So I specifically read that you're not supposed to do what I'm about to do because it creates lines in the mold. But I got to do it because I didn't pour enough. So I'm going to be very conscious not to bump the table so I don't knock the bullet over. All right, part A, part B, and we start mixing. Looking at it, you can still see little bubbles coming to the top. Hopefully that's a good thing. You know, looking at the sides of the cup, I don't see any bubbles, so. All right, we're gonna call that good. All right, and then of course, pour from a higher distance. Let those bubbles come out. Hey, one good thing about not pouring it the right, uh, or not mixing the right amount, at least I knew the bullet was standing up straight still. There we go. All right. Well, that's it for the pour. That was around 12 ounces. It needs 24 hours to cure. And then I'll see you back here for the demold.